Hey gaming enthusiasts, I'm Anton from the Canadian Nerd and we're here at Stage Select. Let's go get our button mash on. Hi guys, we're here at Stage Select Gaming Expo and I'm here with John Paul, the head organizer. Yep. Um, John, tell us, uh, how did this come to be? Well, this came to be because me and Christine Kim kind of uh, worked together to like, wanted to create something here in Toronto for uh, gamers and developers to like, show off their stuff. Oh, cool. Cool. So, uh, what are we featuring this year? Uh, we're featuring a couple of gaming studios such as Torm Banner and Kit Fox Games. Um, our keynote speaker is Tanya, uh, who's from Kit Fox Games, and she's a uh, part of an initiative for a woman to get into programming. Oh, cool. Very cool. Um, any highlights from this year so far? Uh, we have an awesome like, cosplay contest going on behind us. We had a couple of Mega Man speed runs. Uh, we had, a, again, our keynote speak, which was really awesome. Um, and it's just everyone's having a great time. How would you encourage them to come check out uh, Stage Select? Well, we kind of just wanted a place for the community to be together. So, if, for example, if you like games, uh, come check it out because we just really wanted to have something that's uh, for everyone. <laughs> I'm here with the guys of Robo's World. Can you guys introduce yourself? Yeah, sure. My name's Attila Gabriel Brunitsky. I'm the lead developer, programmer, and level designer for the game. I'm Will uh, Valley, and I'm the artist and animator for Robo's World. Very cool, guys. Can you tell me a little bit about the game? Sure. So this is a 2D action platformer inspired by Mega Man. So there's a lot of action platforming elements, like uh, taking down enemies and uh, the sort of freedom to explore an interconnected world, sort of like Mega Man, except the game is broken up into six different zones aboard the actual Zarnok Fortress, and you're trying to save your home planet by destroying the fortress, and to do that you have to sabotage each one of those zones. So you said you did the art design for the game? So what was your inspiration for the art design? For the art design, I looked at uh, a lot of stuff. Uh, I looked at Mega Man, I looked at old retro games, and getting a solid, nice style to it was the main idea and a lot of old games have been inspiration to that and like the feel to it, but modern and new. Hi, I'm here with... My name is Joe. Joe, so you're one of the vendors here at Stage Select. So what are you selling? Well, I'm an illustrator and a designer and a lifelong gamer, so I have illustrations of my own ideas as well as some tribute art. I'm also selling 28mm uh, double-sided gaming minis. They're a faster and cheaper alternative to plastic or metal uh, miniatures for Dungeons & Dragons or similar role-playing games, as well as my first set of tiling terrain, dice bags, D&D-inspired uh, buttons, and a variety of other things. Very cool, very cool. So uh, what's your highlight of Stage Select? Um, I think just bringing all the games together and seeing gaming and all its different aspects from video games behind me to the more traditional uh, tabletop games. Hey guys, we're here with... ZombieCat89. Pokebo. Who are you guys dressed as and why? I am Solus. And I am the Inquisitor. And we are both from Dragon Age Inquisition. Why do you guys like Stage Select? Well, actually, this is my first year to Stage Select, and I was invited as a cosplay guest. And what was really nice is that not only were they um, incredibly generous and very, very welcoming, uh, we actually um, threw the costume, the costume contest. And it was probably the biggest feature here. We had the biggest turnout, and it was just a, a lot of fun. Yeah, I think I really love this place just because it's a small convention right now, but you really get to talk to the guests and talk to the, the people who've come here and just really get to know everybody almost and make new friends. Favorite video game? My favorite video game of all time is definitely Legend of Zelda Majora's Mask. Um, I think my favorite video game is probably Animal Crossing. Both very good titles. So I'm here with a few more fine fellows here at Stage Select. 
Uh, if you guys could introduce yourself. Uh, I'm Adam. And I'm Ali. So what are you guys doing here today? I see there's a lot of merch, even a game. Oh, we're indie developers for Sipco Games. It's a tabletop and video game development company that uh, has only started up about a year ago. Uh, right now our big game is uh, Geeks and Tonic. It's a six player PvP combat drinking card game. So, it's a mouthful, but... <laughs> Sounds pretty cool. What you... um, I'm actually the artist for many of his games. I haven't done the art for Geeks and Tonic, but I've done most of the artwork for um, his game here, Fantasy Life. I've done the animations for that, and um, I've done most of the artwork for Dungeons. I've actually enjoyed being able to see things that no one else has really tried to play yet or has interacted with yet. So, um, I really just like seeing the new, um, the new games that people are making and walking around seeing everything. What's your favorite video? Oh, that's a tough one. <laughs> uh, I'd have to say my favorite video game would have to be Majora's Mask. We're getting a lot of Majora's Mask today. I'm a huge fan of the Elder Scrolls games. Um, I love Skyrim, but I have to say Oblivion was my favorite. Oh, I loved Sir Patrick Stewart as the king. Oh. If I were blocky and didn't say anything and kind of moved my arms like this, who would I be? Super Meat Boy? <laughs> here with Hunter Geek. So Hunter Geek is, I'm assuming, cro cross-stitching? Cross-stitching. So uh, tell us a little bit about the business. Uh, well, my mother's main name is Hunter, so I am actually the Hunter Geek. Um, I cross-stitch on plastic canvas uh, using worsted yarn. 8-bit translates really well into stitched pieces, and so that's what I make. Very cool, very cool. I really like a lot of the geeky uh, memorabilia here. Um, so, what, what's your favorite part about Stage Select, if you don't mind me asking? Well, it's just a very friendly environment. The people who come are very friendly, the staff who runs it, uh, or who run it are just incredibly helpful. Um, and so even though it's a smaller con right now, it's, it's uh, just got a really nice atmosphere to it. Okay, more, more on a personal level, what's your favorite video game? Legend of Zelda Ocarina of Time. Morrowind has a close second though. Okay, uh, favorite video game character? It's very difficult. All right, guys, we're here with a few lovely people here at Stage Select. If you guys could introduce yourselves and tell me where you guys are from. I'm Angel with Unplugged Expo. Sam from Toronto Gamers. I'm Kai from What She Said. Awesome, guys. Uh, so tell me, what's your impression of Stage Select? Cosplay and awesome games. Uh, great indie video games and really great people. Devs and boobs. Devs and boobs. Ladies, why don't you tell me about Unplugged Expo? So Unplugged Expo is a weekend of awesomeness. We have cosplayers, we have top gamers, and we have some of the most amazing vendors coming all around. We're in Mississauga, and this year is going to be awesome. Anything you want to add? Yeah, we have a tournament for League of Legends, and we're probably the only con that's going to give out 1500 as cash prize money. Cash money! So why don't you guys tell us about Toronto Gamers? Oh, well. I can. Uh, we're an LGBTQI social group. Uh, we do a lot of social events like board games night, video games. Uh, for Pride this year, 2015, we're doing a lot of great things. We're doing a document screening on Gaming in Color, which is a documentary about LGBT gamers. Uh, then we're doing a party at the Spovine Sex Club. It has like, we're doing a social there and a big geek metal rock band night. Very cool. Oh, it's going to be fun. Third year doing it at Bovine. Fun place. Why does all the fun price stuff have to be at dance parties? Let's rock it up metal style. Definitely metal. Yeah, we're here with the guys from Oh Snap Games. If you guys could introduce yourselves. I'm Ryan. And I'm Frank. Uh, so if you guys could tell me a little bit about your game. Uh, so Quasar is a twin stick uh, multiplayer shooter. Uh, it's going to be uh, the, the first arcade shooter eSport, at least that's what we're hoping, the first first of its kind. Uh, it supports up to 10 players on Linux, Mac, uh, Windows, going to be on Steam, 
Who knows what else? Maybe Xbox, maybe PS4. Is it uh, on the Greenlight program for Steam? It was on Greenlight, it's recently been Greenlit. So it is going to be on Steam. What is your favorite part about Stage Select? Consumers. Yeah, yeah just connecting with the gamers. Uh, you don't, as much as I like uh, developer conferences, you don't get to connect with gamers as much as you do game developers. Different kinds of feedback. So we checked out Stage Select. My fingers are tired. Constant gaming, constant finger pushing, I I'm done. But it was fun, it was a blast. We checked out the video games, we checked out the vendors, we checked out some of the cosplayers even here. I enjoyed it, I hope you did too. Make sure to like, share, subscribe, and be sure to tell us what you liked in the comments. Uh, from the Canadian Nerd, I'm Anton, see you next time.